Hi guys, so it's been a while since I last done a Morrow video, so I thought let's just play a new Morrow hack. One I really would like to play um, is one called Tales of Elementia 2. We'll call it Toe for short. So this is a hack by Super Tales. And I haven't seen really many videos on this hack, so hopefully we're gonna play it. This is just a demo, and there's about 36 or 37 exits. So this is uh, Legend of Zelda music, so let's start. It has a very interesting story to it, so... A bright and sunny day at Peach's Castle. Master Mario, so glad you could make it. We've been waiting for you, dear boy. As you know, the Mushroom Kingdom is under tough economic times. Just a spot of tea is a fortune. Why, our coin value has dropped compared to the neighboring Bean Bean Kingdom. At today's exchange rate, one Bean Bean coin is worth... <laughs> five... 584,133,742,666 mushroom coins. Dear God, that's a expensive. Well, I do say we should get to the bottom of this, eh what? The princess and I will be meeting with Queen Bee to discuss these matters. In the meantime, we want you to guard the castle from intruders. A simple task, no? Feel free to explore the castle to your heart's content. Just don't break anything. Ho ho! Come along, princess. We mustn't keep them waiting. Mario, good luck. We're counting on you. Okay, so now... If you guys played Mario 64, this is actually the castle. Okay, the bedroom here. <laughs> Jumping on the bed, that's pretty fun. Uh, so it's in this room. Nice paintings. We can't go in here yet. Let's go here. Do, 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 do. And uh, there's something here. What in the trampoline? Let's go see what's above. And you have exits. And we're going up to here. And we have a key. Hmm. Wonder where this is used for. Okay, we go into this locked door. Let's push the crate. Ooh, we have a secret entrance. Let's go here. It's all quiet. In a tiny corner of the universe is a land filled with wonders and secrets. Well, it's not every day someone crashes through my chimney, and who might you be? Mario. Well, Mario, I appreciate that. That chimney was getting too dirty anyhow. But now, please, there's nothing worth stealing here, except for that vase. I never liked it. What? You aren't here to raid my home? Then what was that? Your center impression? You found a strange book and started reading. And the next thing you knew, you fell from the sky. Hmm. I saw an odd purple and green fellow fall into the forest just a few hours ago. Luigi. I'm not sure, but it could mean that we're both from a different world. That must be it. But this world, Elementia, is not a mere book to read. It is a full reel of life. Whoops, sorry about that. You see, my name is Ezan, and my life has been dedicated to exploring this land. You too should see the rolling hills, clear streams, and many wonders of Elementia. What? You must return to the responsibilities of your own world? Hmm, this could be a problem. 
I know of no way to return you, though there might be one possibility. Legend has it that eons ago, four spirits created this world and all who walked upon it. Each spirit had powers over an element. Earth, fire, water, and wind. Hmm, Zelda anyone? Using their power, they wished to keep the world as clean and wonderful as possible. However, a sorceress from a distant land used a powerful spell, sealing each spirit in a corner of the world. Without the influences of the spirits, Elementia began to deteriorate, allowing the sorceress and her comrades to take over the land of themselves. Kinda like Ganon. But, if you freed the spirits, they could restore Elementia to its former splendor. And their power, they could transport you back home. A win-win, no? However, each spirit is heavily guarded in a, in a distant temple. Freeing them won't be easy. Somewhere in the forest west of here rests the spirit of Earth. The pipe south of here leads to an arid desert, home to the fire spirit. North is a set of islands. The water spirit is said to be found in one of them. Unfortunately, I do not know where the Spirit of Wind is being held. Perhaps if you free the other three spirits, they could help you find the Spirit of Wind. It is said that four spirits lived in a great heavenly home, the Elemental Palace. Just east of here is Starbeam Hill. Above it, the four... The Elemental Palace floats. A lot of reading here. With the help of the fire, water, and earth spirits, you can ascend to the palace. There, at least, the three could use their combined efforts to help you. And so, I wish you the best of luck on your quest. Mario finds a strange book in Peach's castle discovering the world of Elementia. Will he be able to return home? Okay, after eight minutes of solid reading, let's actually do something productive. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll start with the forest first. Why not? Okay, so Mushroom Woods is our first level, and it's a red one, so we can expect to find normal and a secret exit. Okay, so those green coins I just picked up, those are um, kind of like the Yoshi coins. And you're listening to the Force Maze of Super Mario World RPG. Do -do -do, and I got some lines here. Whoa, actually. Hmm. And let's go see what's above. Let's go see what's above here. Her, her, her. And there's nothing really special. And we're going to hit something. Do, 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 do. And there's trampoline, but I'm going to be skipping it. Mm -hmm. oh, this is going to be really dizzying experience and waiting for the wriggler to corner him. So I can go past the stage and there's nothing over here. And I have to wait because I'm hitting my head. That my arms hurt. Uh oh. Hmm. I just lost my powers. No. Hmm. It's fun losing your powers. I'm going to play this game safe, safe, this because this game should be easy enough. And there is the level, and you're listening to Ness. So let's find the secret exit of Mushroom Woods. Okay, so I'm at the midpoint, you know, to save some time. Um, okay, so from the midpoint, there's a pipe you have to go down to, right here. Okay, if you go left, 
you see the keyhole and the key over there. How can I get to that? Well, it's pretty easy, boy. I'm going to be showing you how to do it. And I just got hit by a goo poopa. How nice. So use... The red mushroom. And walking above a platform and you'll go hit here. And get the key and stick in a keyhole. Dun da 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 da. Okay, I guess we'll do Midnight hit Heights as the last one. Oh, Balloon Flight. Okay, so here we have to get 100 coins. So, we have to get every single coin in this world so we can go down to that pipe. How this will be fun. Wow, I love how they count the exits. That's really cool. Uh, okay, so we need to borrow Mr. Koopa. Can I borrow your shell? Get some more coins here. Everyone just loves the coins. Do do do. And I'm missing some here. I believe so. Oh, I missed a bunch here. Nice. Mm -hmm. And how many coins I have? I lost count. I need some coins so I can go over past the stage. So we have three. Okay, so now we use a trampoline. We get at least seven here. <laughs> Balloon fight. I just love Balloon Fight. One of the classic uh, Mario... No, one of the classic NES games. Why am I saying it's a Mario game? Yay, Super Flower. Hey, good. Oh, I now have seven one-ups. Hopefully I can go through. And we will see what we have done. <laughs> Can we go over here? Hmm. Ah. And I got 11. I don't think the bonus stars count, because we don't even have any time. It's just a timeless hack. Which is great. Okay guys, join me tomorrow and we're gonna play, um, Crystal Lake. Alright, peace guys.